Right then, um, so this episode should be like the, the D-Day, as it were. Um, we are hoping that we are going to get the engine and gearbox into the rear today. One of the first things we're gonna do is, um, is fuck off this bar. It was like something we put in for the harness bars, for the like um, harnesses, wasn't like a harness bar basically. We welded it in to use there, but it's gonna be right in the fucking way, we think. So um, Uncle Mike's gonna get in there with his uh, grinder. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, so we're going to cut that out and then bolt the engine to the gearbox using another adapter plate that um, was that Allah again? Yep. Yeah, another adapter plate that Allah made us. That was um, overnight parts from Allah. Oh, overnight parts from Allah. Lovely. So yeah, uh, cut this out. Bolt engine to said gearbox. Build engine mounts here. Gearbox mount here, and um, start engine drive. Start engine. Go for a little drive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is an engine we pulled out of a cool, 05, it was a late one wasn't it? Yes. But it had been binned um, and we've had it hanging around for ages, I almost sold it um, a little while ago because it was just pissing me off in the way. So it's like a good engine, we've run it up when it was in the car, all smashed to pieces. So we're just now bolting on Uncle Spike's adapter plate to the gearbox, um, but he's forgotten to countersink some of the whole bolt holes, so he's just... Uh, pulling it back off the counter sink to bolt holes. Um, then, we'll, <laughs> then we'll connect it to the engine. Um, once that's done, what are you up to, Mike? Mike, that's a fucking 15. Oh, that's a 15. <laughs> Mike's finding bolts. <laughs> Tidy up. It? Yeah, it's a bit messy, isn't it? Okay, gearbox, engine bolted together. Just put a couple of bolts in there now. Well, there's four or five bolts in there just to hold it in. So. We've now got to slide that under there, lift it in, boys. Easy as that. We're going to hit anything, Michael. We're all right. You're going to put some nice elevator. No, we're all right. Good miss. What's that? It's assembled it. Yeah, it's factory. <laughs> oh, yeah, they assembled it and then painted it. Mental. Uh, so they're being wet. They're worried they're going to get the tailgate hit them in the head the didn't want to scratch the spoiler either so yeah i think they're worried that we're going to put the uh the engine crane in and um yeah end up with a tailgate on her head so right Good. so just got to lift that in here yeah you got your blue tag on that steve what? got your blue tag on that what got your blue tag on your step ladder blue tag yeah safety uh approved Right, so we built just a tack welded in a little platform there to level up that chassis leg out of four mil. And we're gonna try and use the original OEM engine mount, which I think the spike's got there, like a facelift one. <laughs> Hello. <Damn lovely. laughs> um, so yeah, once we've done that, we're picking up on the original torque mount and then we'll build something for the Volkswagen one. So it's essentially just a drilling holes in that little platform. So, here we go. So that engine mount there is just bolted on in the same way that the Mini would. We're gonna put a little flitch on there. Uh, we're now putting the Volkswagen snot in there. Um, we've got plenty of room. Looks like we've just got to fab up a, a little bracket. On the Mini, it's got this sort of arrangement that comes up round um, past the strut. So, or like the, you know, this piece on the front. Because ours is uh, not going at an angle or anything, we seem to have plenty of room. So. Hopefully we can just make something up that goes down, keeps as much of it low as we can. Um, everything else seems to have got loads of room. It's amazing. <laughs> you know it's a pro job when one of them's grinding sparks into the other one's face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> okay. A pro job, this, Mike. I'm, I'm properly impressed. Oh, yes, full CAD, full CAD design. Yep. Uh, so that, Mike's just, uh, as you say, cardboard aided design. Transferred that to the four mil. And then where that cheeky little line is there, that will be where that lines up. And then uh, we'll stick that in, tack it in, and then we'll sort of triangulate down both sides. This is four mil, this is really thick, heavy duty shit. Um, Uncle Spike's just working on making some little tabs to mount that little puppy. There, you alright Spike? Got your tabs? Oh, pretty good look at that, pretty to watch. Thank you, and the tabs. Pretty to watch, yep. Uh, so that will be attacking. Well, that looks pretty sexy, doesn't it? Mm, yeah. Nice. One each side? Yep. Lovely. Look at all this mess. That's not from us. Yeah. I think that's from leaving it in a shed. In the no, that's all the that's all the grit and stuff we sanded off it. I'll have it. Got it. <laughs> Okay, triangulated one side down there. Like I say, it's just rough for a minute. And we'll finish it completely. We just want to get the engine hung in. I'm just like drilling the holes. Getting those fucking bolts in. Lovely. Mike's just making us a triangulation piece down here. I'm just like drilling holes here. This is the last mount, isn't it? We can... Uh, come home. Come home, it's getting dark. It's been a long old day and it don't feel like we've done a massive amount, really. Oh, nice. Silk. Nice. Those haven't got nuts under me. <laughs> you literally just bosh them in. We'll, when we box that in underneath, we'll uh, put nuts there. We've got something for. We'll just zap them up. No. Beautiful. Right then. Yeah. If we um, take the crane out. Uh, I was going to take the crane out first and then we'll let the jack down because the jack's supporting that end right okay that's good oh i have to undo that little one as well <laughs> yeah 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 we'll, we'll catch live the uh <laughs> the time when i needed a, a wheelchair right uh okay so far so good so that can move out and then Okay, let's see how much further down this moves when we go. Ready? Yep. I should just settle down like maybe five, six mil. Yep, she's off. Mate. Mate. Ha! <laughs> Got a engine. Right, let's zap this out. Let's uh, run engine. <laughs> Two engines. <laughs> Very, nice. Very nice. Right, should we um, lower it down and see how the back sits now? <laughs> see if the wheels disappear off. Up. Yeah, see if it disappears <laughs> off up to the rear windows. How low is that going to go? Bong. She's squatting. She's still squatting. That's it. Perfect. Me. <laughs> It really is. It's uh, <laughs> it's cock on. That bootlet's not going yet, though. Oh yeah, that bootlet's gonna have some weight. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, so yeah, we have a uh, second engine in there, mounted in position. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so we have rear engine in the back, mounted, ready to rock. Uh, rear height looks pretty much sensible, to be fair. We've got loads more shit to go in there, naturally. All we've got really in there is the gearbox and the engine. Um, really happy. It looks wild. And we've got more, we've still got the room to put our rear mount radiator back in. So that's great news. We haven't got to buy another radiator. Possibly a third engine. Possibly a third engine. No, I don't want to put that We could have put a V8 in there, though. I reckon we could have put a supercharged uh, Jag engine in with some sort of transaxle. We wouldn't want to fit one in the front. No, not in the front, but in the back, not in the mid mount. There's loads of room in there, isn't there, yeah. like forwards. No, I'm not putting LS in it. Fucking anchor. Yeah. I don't need a boat. Yeah, anchor me boat. Right, so that's the end of this video. 
next video we will be one mic short. What are you doing? Milton Keynes. Ah, going to Milton Keynes? Yeah. Sex mm. show. Sex show? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Dogging. Dogging session, fair play. Um, so yeah, me and Spike will be taking this engine back out and we'll be triangulating everything, boxing everything in nice because obviously at the moment all we've done is just sort of very briefly hang it in there just to get everything right. It's taken ages just to fuck around with measurements and stuff. So really happy. And after that, after that's done, bulkhead, roll cage. Exhaust. Then exhaust, yeah. Um, snail. Big snail. Yeah, we've got, I was thinking where to mount this bloody great turbo and I quite like it above the gearbox at the moment. Um, but again, it's not a, the main problem really is a fuel tank mm. because like obviously the only room we've really got for fuel tank is down there, which doesn't leave us a lot. And we've still got to get the exhaust from the front into the turbo at the rear. So like I say, it's, um, it's a bit interesting what we're going to do because we just don't know at this point. It's all a bit, who knows, but that's part of the excitement to me. Uh, we're going to lose those bits off the DSG gearboxes, those bloody cooler things, because that's what fucked us last time. Uh, anything else to note that we've discovered along the way? Fits. Sorry, mate? Fits. It does fit. It's most certainly in there. So, uh, until until next time. What are we going to get this painted? Are we going to just throw it at Jeremy? Pink. And say... Let's paint this all one colour so it's all nice. It's all looking really grotty. I like it like a shitbox. You like it like a shitbox? I kind of think it might deserve a bit more. Or maybe make a bit more of an effort and make it all white inside again and then get the stickers redone. See if it blows up first. Keep saying pink. I don't want it pink. <laughs> Pink's expensive. White's cheap. <laughs> you get five gallons of the stuff on eBay for like 80 quid. And we can paint everything. <laughs> Why do you think the Jags Mercedes is white? <laughs> Right, okay, until next time, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, see you later. Bye! Say bye-bye, Spike. Kisses! <laughs>